pretty cool. What is your favorite pair of shoes, every girl needs? Oh, okay. okay. Um, favorite pair is tricky. Um, probably what I wear the most um, are my little Chanel Paris Dallas um, boots. They were very expensive, but I reckon I wear them five times a week, yeah. always with um, jeans or stockings um, and skirts. What are these? Ask um, me and Cody. Yep, so Carl Lagerfeld um, designed these shoes with Melissa. I don't wear them often, um, but I feel like they're more of a, you know, hero piece on my shoe wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and these YSL cage shoes, and if you have followed me from the beginning on what will Carl do back in 2010 and 11, I used to wear them all the time. It was when cage was in, you know, I had a cage skirt, so it was sheer with the caging on it. Now uh, I wore the skirt and had a dress with these shoes. I picked these up at um, the same place I got my Fendi jumper from, from the outlets in Milan. And I think they were like $300 or $200 or something for YSL wow. shoes. It's awesome. Um, I need to go there. Yeah, I, I need to go back. <laughs> How do you think your style has evolved over that time to today? Yeah, it has definitely changed. Um, starting what will Carl do? Um, my style, I was more creative, um, exploring fashion, and I called it fashion forward. So, uh, you know, I was, um, or fashion confident. So I called my style fashion confident because I would, you know, mix prints and um, wear sequins in the day and clash prints with sequins and this and that and um, it worked, it you know, created a, um, a unique um, niche for me as a blogger and um, kind of launched me um, and then now, you know, the blog has followed me through my journey of motherhood and now I'm a mum of two and my style has changed. Um, you know, if I go to a fashion week or an event, you know, I do kind of let that real old school what will come out yeah. um, but in a new way a more polished way you know with like a statement sequin top with maybe black jeans or you know that kind of thing whereas I used to kind of just throw it all on and really stand out so if you could rate anyone else's wardrobe who would it be um it's a really hard question <laughs> um maybe someone like uh Lena Pemanova from Russia um or Hmm. Um, oh, Blake Lively. Oh, yes. Love her style and it's very Chanel. Pieces. Yes, and yeah, definitely a really good pregnant inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, although I'm not pregnant, <laughs> maybe for number three. Um, and gee, I don't really know. Um, maybe a Kardashian because they've got everything. Oh, yes. <laughs> You could spend three days in there. <laughs> oh, hang on, Rachel Zoe. Uh, her archive of the vintage pieces, mm -hmm. I would love to just walk through and just see all those beautiful pieces from the 70s. And I think she has like a proper vault, you know, um, room full of her pieces, they're archived. Oh, wow. Yeah. And what would be three words you would name your style? Um, I think thoughtful because you know I, I think of how I sew together especially on the blog or when I go to an event like it's it's styled you know I think about it I don't just put like on a dress and then that's it yeah. um, there's a process to it and it's all about creating um, so thoughtful and then oh, I don't know maybe, <laughs> maybe practical because yeah. you know during the daytime, this is what I wear. I'm a mum, I'm a fashion mum. Mm -hmm. um, so I have the practical side, I have the thoughtful side. And then, you know, I suppose the fun side, the fun, the, the sequin, the statement. Maybe the statement yeah. is the right word, mm -hmm. whether it's a statement shoe, obviously. Um, yeah. Thoughtful, practical, and statement. Yep, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for being my interviewee. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Fashion Angle. Bye. Thank you.